Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? My name is Matt Hart. I'm a marketability engineer with Nissan. Yeah, so a lot of technology in the new rock. There's a lot, yes. And uh, what are we going to do here? We're going to demonstrate the active trace control system on the road. So and this is part of, uh, of, of the systems that maintain you safe in the car, right? Yes. And it, uh, it's a system that helps you drive the way that you're intending to drive. Okay. So, um, what are we doing here? We're going to do a figure eight on this course, and we're going to target a speed of about 50 miles an hour. 50? 15. You sure? Fif oh, 15. 15. <laughs> and, and before we start, we'll toggle the system off. You can see what the vehicle does naturally. And then after a few laps, we'll turn it on so you can okay. see what the system does. So go, get closer to the cones or any special instructions here? Drive it as you're comfortable. And now again, now all the systems are off. And uh, why the, would, why the would the that... trace control system's off, the VDC is still on. Oh, okay. There's still some system There's about... There's still a system, right. So VDC is more of a limit a feature and this is this active trace control is sub-limit everyday, more everyday driving. Oh, I see. So electronic uh, con traction control is always on, for example? Yes. There's a hard switch to toggle it off, but it's just, it's not synchronized to the active trace toggle. Talk. So you can independently select them. Yeah. So with the system of the, the vehicle tends to like move a little bit more and like the, the, the steering gets a little bit loose? Yes. Yeah, it starts to understeer, pushes out a little bit. You have to work to, to um, drive the vehicle on the path that you intend. Okay. So now? Grow toggle it on. Okay. Okay. And same speed? Yep. You don't get dizzy? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that's the VDC. Yeah. So systems are inter interacting with each other. They are, yeah. They're, they're synchronized and um, work together. So this system now is looking at your wheel input and looking at the vehicle response. And if the vehicle's not responding to what you're wanting it to do, it's using either the brake or engine to help pull you through that corner on your intended path. And uh, this, uh, to give a brief uh, idea to, to our audience, mm -hmm. I mean, these systems are like thinking of calculating things how often? Oh, hundreds of times a second. Yeah. yeah. Like it's immediate. Yeah. Immediate response. Yeah. And obviously it works at every speed at, and everything? This system works at speeds uh, above 50 kilometers an hour. Yeah, 35 miles. It no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I missed. Starts working like about 35 miles an hour? No, it's working at about 15 miles an hour. Oh, okay. It's, it's, you know, it's working through this course and we're doing 15 to 20 miles an hour. No, but I mean like when you're like in a real life situation, yeah. the, the, the system is always on when you... Yeah, it's always on. But it's, um, it's but active it, at above about 15 miles oh, an hour. Oh, above. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 I see. So in a parking lot at uh, you know so yeah, you don't really need that. You don't yeah. need the system. You need the other system, that <laughs> the object that detects. Yes, the system. yeah, moving object detection. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Very Thank interesting. You.